Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to App Center Spotlights, a series where I try to showcase the latest Elementor OS app featured on the official Elementary Medium. This time we're going to take a look at Minder. Minder is a mind mapping application developed by Trevor Williams specifically for Elementary OS and it thus follows the interface guidelines and integrates perfectly with the system. Minder is available in the Elementary OS App Center with a suggested price of $5, which you can change to anything you like, of course. To get it, just follow the link in the description below. The story of Minder. The developer, Trevor Williams, enjoys coding for a hobby and as his day job at HP Enterprise. He was looking at a solution to help him wrap his mind around a project and didn't find anything he liked in the selection of applications available in the default repositories. He then decided to create his own application, following the Elementary OS guidelines, since he was using Elementary at the time. He released the app on the App Center, where it quickly got approved by the Elementary OS team. Minder uses the proposed development path from Elementary based on Vala and GDK. Since its release, Minder has developed a healthy community for bug reports, translations and feature requests, which Trevor says he enjoys. In the future, Trevor would like to work on an outlining app for Elementary OS which could exchange information with Minder, as well as trying to fill in the gaps in the Elementary OS app ecosystem. My Minder Review So, I installed Minder and played with it for a while, trying to do a mind map of the video series and IDs I wanted to experiment on the channel. Here is what it can do and what I thought about it. First, the features. While appearing simple, Minder is a pretty full-featured application. You can create nodes with main nodes, child nodes, task nodes, etc. It supports a few color schemes, which also change the app to dark mode for some of them, and saves its file in XML format. Minder can also export into a lot of other formats such as JPEG, Markdown, PDF, SVG, PNG and others. It also supports automatic node layouts, which will reorganize all child nodes in a single click to make your mind map more legible. You can of course add nodes to any node, fold them and change the color coding of each node group. So how did it fare during my testing? Well, for one, it's really stable. I experienced no crash, no bug, no data loss during my testing, which is not always the case with smaller applications, so congrats for that. In the looks department, Minder is a killer. Of course, it follows the elementary OS guidelines and is perfectly integrated, it looks and feels native, and it is stunning to look at. Subtle animations make panels and elements appear instead of just popping in, and the interface is clear and simple. Feature-wise, it was enough for my needs, but more experienced users, such as Xmine users, for example, might feel a little limited here with the customization of the look of their mind map. What does it lack in my opinion? Well, in my opinion, Minder only lacks a few features to be close to perfection. Its task support is a bit confusing since turning a node into a task automatically changes all of its child nodes into tasks as well. It also lacks the ability to add images or icons to nodes to make them a little more legible and distinguish them better. Finally, the ability to change the background color would be a plus, as well as the choice to change the line sizes to make them curved or use arrows, which would make for a complete package to create any different style of mind map. So in the end, is it worth the price? Well, if you intend to work with mind maps and your needs are covered by Minder, then by all means it is well worth the one-time price tag of $5. It is the most well-designed mind mapping app I used on Linux and it's very well thought out. So there it is guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye!